Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, and most of all, welcome back to episode 4 of War Robots, but it revolves around Kazakh. And in this episode, I'm already level 20. I, I think that my Kazakh is actually, it's level 8 now, which is actually pretty cool. I'm, I've almost got the max speed on it. And yeah, I think that now I think that I'm in Bronze League by now in this clip, so I think that I'll start encountering more challenging players that I might not be able to get rid of with the Kazakh. But one thing that the Kazakh does have is its, uh, is its speed. Which I can definitely use to at least get a beacon. But on a map like Carrier, where I try to get the center beacon, it's, it never ends well. Well, yeah, it never ends well because people always shoot at, yeah. In this case, I got lucky. That Kozak actually had the Ivory Scourge on it, which is a weapon that I'm looking forward to, to getting on mine. But yeah, you can see how it could be really tricky with this robot. Someone already has a blitz already. It must be in like silver or something. I don't know how they got a blitz. Probably money. Someone already has a bulwark too. On my team. I don't know. Jumping into the griffin. With my level 1 punishers. My level 6 griffin I think. Uh, I think that the Griffin comes level 6, right? I don't know, it might be level 5. Whatever it is, it, I haven't upgraded it. Because the only thing that I could upgrade, as you guys know, is my Kazakh and the weapon that's on it. And that's the challenge. I don't know why, but aphids seem to do like no damage. Like, I think that Vortex does a lot of damage, and Thermite does even more, but like, Aphids, like, I know that they're light weapons, but like, they should still be doing, like, something. Like, I don't know. Right now, the Griffin is a very useful robot for me, because, uh, the Punisher is Shred on it. Even though they're level 1, I could just jump on someone and shred them up with the the quad punishers or should I say I think I think I could say six punishers because punisher T's are two punishers and yeah this is a trick to kill a Phrygian just walk into jump into a shield walk into the shield um, the shield won't block them at point blank range Right now, my Leo is really one of the strongest, or is really the strongest robot on my hangar by a long shot. Stronger than my Ouchin. Just because of its brawling potential, the damage I can do. The Thunder in the lower leagues is broken. It's just, it's too good. The Thunder, it's cheap. It does a lot of damage at short range. And even to some robots, it does a lot of damage at medium range too. Like to like Patton's or Kazakh's or Destries or something. But in higher, in high leagues, you don't see the thunder because people have access to like Glory or like Devastator now, I guess. I guess you could say Devastator is the, the way to go on close range. And you don't see the Leo either. But in in this league, in Bronze League, Leo Thunder Pinata is definitely a very strong robot. Another Leo build is Leo Th Thunder Punisher. Which, uh, if you want sustained damage output, that's the way you, you go. Um, that Natasha there, I know, I don't know what he was thinking, running sniper weapons and brawling. 
and look that we lose the game because of this one guy I think I could take out every other guy if it wasn't for this Fedrin he was like it, he's just a problem so I think that this guy spent a lot of money because he has an atomizer nucleon Fenrir in bronze league with overdrive unit you that's no just no how do you get that without spending money but yeah that's pretty interesting to see um obviously I got a little bit lucky myself getting the out chin but no it's not the yeah, out chin is a good robot in bronze league but it's not a very good robot in uh let's say expert league and higher but yeah and then jumping into the next match immediately no shenanigans and we're on power plant starting with the Kazakh again once I get pilot skills on this it's gonna be so fast I'm I'm interested to see like like this is a cool experiment to see how how um, good the Kazakh is how good it can be maxed out because I don't think that there's a lot of footage of this right no one wants to run Kazakh because like I don't know I guess you're like a tanker if you do which I can understand I'm doing this for science though because there's no footage of Kazakhs in high level leagues or barely any I'm doing this for science and I actually think it's going to be pretty easy to get this to Mark 212. I'm yet to have something to Mark 212 even on my main account. But I think that this will be easy. And I'm trying to run away here because... What's that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What is that? The, that's 5 people. 5 people on me at once. Just a little Kazakh with 67,000 health. All he has is a jump, a punisher, and no life because there are five people on him. I think I've had situations off camera where I have been able to take out like a whole griffin with just my Natasha with the use of corner shooting and jumping around, dodging, strafing. So I, it's, I've been really surprised by how I've been able to do with it sometimes. And I found that when you jump in the in leagues like bronze, when you just like jump around a lot, you like kind of like spam jump with your Kazakh, or even like with your Griffin or Agaka, you just people miss you so much because they don't know how to aim that well yet and I like this out chin because for one it has the what what's it called the dragon strike yeah it's a dragon strike right it has a dragon strike which is an energy projectile laser which can bypass Fujins. None of my robots have energy weapons on them. And it actually does quite a bit of damage to Fujins, so I don't know why. And if the Fujins don't have like more than 500 meters range, then they won't be able to reach me. I don't know if the Dragon Fangs has, or Dragon, Dragon Strike has 500 meters or 600 meters, I don't know. But I think that's pretty good for Fujins because they don't have a lot of health. And it's able to do some damage to them if I'm able to stay out of range. And then with the pins, it, it can do a lot of damage to any robot really. 
Except that they have a shield. Which that becomes a problem. And right here is a very sticky situation because I have a Natasha behind me, I have four people in front of me, and I have one person, a sniper, flanking me on my left. And there are the people in front of me are rushing me. But this thing is very good at holding off pushes from the from the other team. I had to trigger the landing there because I was starting to get shot at by a lot of people. One of the things that this thing does have a weakness with, that's why I have to run it with range. Now though, I'm starting to see it not being as competitive as I like it to. So I think that once I hit Sip Silver League, I'm probably gonna bench it, put it in put it in my inventory and buy a Natasha with Punishers and Thunders. I kind of need the firepower now. I'm really starting to feel it. I'm really starting to feel the loss of firepower in my hangar. But yeah, the outchin's still performing very well uh, at the time being. I'm getting like rampages still and triple kills. So I'm not going to take it out just yet because it's still indispensable. Even for a Natasha like that. And actually with this griffin, I had one battle sequence on this map on a uh, power plant where I got beyond godlike off camera. I think that I recorded it but it didn't record the whole thing for some reason. Which is a real bummer but I got beyond godlike with it. Of course I was like encountering like some Cossacks and like, you know, patents and stuff. But it it's still a beyond god like look however you look at it. And then after the beyond god like I got two more kills too, so that's basically living legend twice. It was pretty cool. I think it was like probably like the second or first battle that I actually got the Griffin. And this is what I like Titans already. Crazy. So I like doing with the Griffin. So people, I don't expect you to jump on them. So I just like, you know, jump on them and say hi. Share them up with the Punishers. Obviously, that would have been way different. I probably would have gotten way more hurt if that was like a Leo with, or like if that person would have been wouldn't have been running snipers. People run a lot of. Uh, Kang Day and Nashorn and Zenny and Nora comes in, in these leagues. I can understand why actually. I used to run them myself when I when I used to start. And it would it would actually perform pretty well. Cause you don't need line of sight. With Nashorns and Kang Days you do, but People use a lot of mullet too. Personally, I prefer Punisher. And... Yeah. I ran out of ammo, so now I'm dead. And I walked into other enemy firepower. The Leo is very strong. Like... Uh, a lot of battles um, My whole team would die and then I'd be, be just left with my Leo And I would stand behind a cover right and then I would wait for them to come to me And then I would just walk out of the cover and just ping out of them and thunder them to death It's like the easiest thing ever and then I would hide again Then another one would come and I would just be picking them off one by one Then eventually I'd go through like all six people and just win well, I don't think I'd go through all six. Um, sometimes I go through four or five, though. I get pretty close. But they keep respawning. So, that's pretty cool. And yeah, that's the end of episode four already. That's my hangar. My Kazakh is the only thing that I've upgraded. I'm following the rules. 
and yeah, do new things, rebellious things, bye bye.